Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. If you're like me, you've probably been a little bit confused by the whole Nikon, Crop Factor, DX, FX, APS, full frame, all that stuff. There's a whole lot of discussion online about crop factors when you go to put an FX lens on a crop sensor camera. The one thing though that I couldn't find out was if the dial on the top of my DX format zoom lens over there is somehow already compensated for or how does it relate to the angle of view that I would see out of a 50 millimeter FX format lens. Now this lens here is the 50 millimeter uh, Nikon, it's a prime lens which means it doesn't zoom. My lens that I bought when I got my camera is a zoom lens. I've currently got it set to 50 millimeters according to the dial on top. What I want to do is see how that 50 millimeters there compares to the 50 millimeters here. Now, since that camera has a crop factor of 1.5, which means it's going to reduce my field of view and increase my equivalent focal length, this 50 millimeter prime lens should have the equivalent focal length of a 75 millimeter lens. As a result, it'll also have a smaller field of view corresponding to a 75 millimeter effective focal length. What I've got here on the board is a series of marks every three inches. This will let us compare the field of view and the focal plane of my camera is eight feet away. Okay, let's go ahead now and swap out the lens. So here's the view at 50, which is the equivalent field of view that I would get from a 75 millimeter lens ordinarily. What I find really interesting though, and I bet you do too, is that the field of view from that lens is pretty much identical to the field of view we were seeing out of the DX format lens set to the same value. What that tells me is that Nikon has somehow already compensated the dials on their DX format lenses so that you can easily compare the fields of view when you put an FX lens on a crop sensor camera. And here's my DX lens set to 75 millimeters. You can see just how much narrower this is. It's certainly different than the FX uh, equivalent of 75. Normally, when you take a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, you're going to get what is considered a normal field of view. Well, I find this interesting because of my crop sensor camera over there with the DX lens and I dial it to 50 millimeters, I'm getting what looks like a normal view when I compare it through the lens and then through my eye. Well, I hope this helps explain the DX, FX, focal length, and field of view confusion because I could find nothing online that helped explain this. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.